be honest, I don't really mind the design of the Nokia Lumia 920 at all. A lot of people complain that it's too thick, it's too fat, but I actually kind of like the weight for this phone. Some phones I find are way too light and I feel like I'm going to drop it. But this feels just right and quite solid and sturdy for me, which is really good. Like on any phone or all of the Lumias, I really appreciate a dedicated camera button so I can quickly grab that picture without missing it. And the Lumia 920 is no exception. It has that button and it's great for me. I was using this phone on the Optus network here in Australia and I didn't seem to have any problems at all with the call quality, no dropouts, no lag, nothing like that on the, on the other end of the call. And uh, the person on the other end didn't complain about the call quality, so pretty good. I pretty much have and pretty much always will love the Windows Phone UI. I, it's just really good and it's really minimalistic and simple, which can also be one of its downfalls. I'll get to that in a moment. It's just really clean, really easy to use, and if you're using Windows 8 on a PC, I think this will be a great transition for anyone who's using that operating system. We all know that the Nokia Lumia cameras are really good. It has pure view inside with Carl Zeiss lens, so we know the images are going to be very, very good quality. Here are some of the images and video which I took with the camera. In my opinion, one of the downsides to Windows Phone 8 is the lack of customization. I'm coming from iOS and Android, where even iOS has slightly more customization than Windows Phone 8. But that said, what may be a downside for me may not be for you. Maybe you're looking for simplicity. That's fine. To this day, one of my gripes with Windows Phone 8 is just the lack of apps in the marketplace. Basic apps that I rely on every day, such as Instagram, Snapseed, a bunch of core Google apps, I know it may not seem like a big deal to some people, but for me it's a big deal because I personally use them every day. So personally, for me, it's quite a big deal, and I really miss those on the, on the Windows Phone ecosystem. But if you're not really into those apps and there's enough for you on the Windows Marketplace, then I say go for it. Then it would be a great experience for you. Lastly, one of the weirdest things that I found with the 920 was that I couldn't charge it while it was off. It was quite weird. And I think everyone pretty much does that every night while they're sleeping. And that's what I wanted to do, and I really couldn't do it with the phone. I just thought that was kind of weird. So, yeah, just take that into consideration. But if you guys are still interested in getting a Lumia 920 for yourself and test it out and have fun with it, then check out the link in the description below to get it from mobicity.com.au. They'll hook you up with a phone, and it helps support the show. So check that link out. And thanks again for watching this video guys, remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome videos. Until next